Well, morning everybody. Beautiful sunshiny morning. Got to go flying. Which airplane should I take? We got three. All right, let's take the bush cat. Right along. Uh, you knew that was going to be the answer. We're taking the bush cat. All right, I keep trying to show you new stuff. Of course, I go back to all the old places, but this uh, this morning I took a ride down south of uh, south of Oneida, south and east of uh, the city of Syracuse, about 25 miles, is the historic hamlet of Peterborough, settled in uh, 1795, and was named after the wealthy land dealer Peter Smith. His youngest son, Garrett Smith, was a generous philanthropist, expending large sums of money on many causes, from education to women's rights. But his first and foremost concern was the abolition of slavery. So as we approach, uh, a little fast forward there, as we approach the village of Peterborough, uh, Peterborough and the Smith Estate became a stop on the Underground Railroad in the 1830s with conductors like Harriet Tubman guiding fugitives. Uh, the Smith Estate is a historic, uh, historic site. And they have a museum there, an abolitionist museum there, here in the hamlet. Kind of uh, interesting, uh, just a short airplane ride, or for that matter, a short car ride from uh, the city of Oneida, uh, is a history that would escape you if you didn't actually stumble onto it. Uh, I used to haul milk up here uh, when I was a kid hauling for uh, Knight of Madison Milk Producers Cooperative, and uh, we would get through Peterborough on a regular basis. And until um, I stumbled on that information, I didn't really realize this was a historic site here. Peterborough's kind of unique in that it has seven roads that come to it. You got one, two, three, four out in front of us and three behind us. Uh, up on top of the hill here between uh, Morrisville and uh, Oneida, uh, south south of uh, the Thruway in the town of Smithfield in Madison County. And uh, so as we get uh, around the corner here, we'll, uh, we'll give you a little fast forward. And that white dot out on the horizon is the casino. That's how far away from the casino we are. We go over these valleys and over the hill here. And this is uh, West Hill, Miney Putman's Farm. And uh, right here, my buddy Pat Cowan lives in the house. I've landed right here where you see the shadow right now. Uh, before and uh, looks like the weeds or the crop is just a little too high just now I don't want to get the prop and that's Pat's house right there on the left <laughs> so uh, we circled around headed back down uh, toward the valley again and uh, again heading toward the casino because the the field is just the other side of the casino it's really a nice navigation point as you can see that all over the valley here's a VVS you can see Sunday morning football with the kids playing football there. And you can see all the cars in the parking lot. Uh, very well attended uh, football game there at uh, VVS. I graduated from there in 1972. This is a quick uh, trip over Charlie's. He had one of the hangar doors open. And uh, fast forward right back over to the house. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, history lesson. Feel free to uh, Google uh, Peterborough, New York. And you can look up all that information, a uh, little bush cat ride uh, into the past. Hope you enjoyed it.